Hello, Howard Dirsch. How are you doing? I'm good, Ben. Thanks for having me. Thanks for interviewing me. All right. So, question one. Sure. What influenced you to become a computer animator? Hmm. Always interested in animation. Uh, made my own Lego movies when I was a kid. Uh, saw Star Wars and wanted to work on Star Wars. Um, did various stop motion films with my dad's 8mm camera and loved every minute of it. Um, did, I took a class in um, ele uh, junior high. I took a class in elementary, but I took a class in junior high that was a film animation class and uh, just loved it. So um, I was also interested in computers at the same time, got interested in computers in seventh grade, I guess it was, learned basic in my friend's closet and just made little computer animations at that point and uh, the stop motion stuff I did. So I kind of blended the two, the, the love of animation and the love of computers into one going forward. I see. Yeah. Next question, number sure. two. Are you well known like George Lucas? Am I well known like George Lucas? Yes. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, I don't know if George Lucas would even recognize me that I worked for him for 14 years if he saw me. Wow. Uh, it's possible, but we were never on a uh, first name basis by any means. So I'm not nearly as well known as George Lucas. In fact, minuscule. Hi. If we have to. Hey, uh, uh, Zach. Yeah. No talking. I'm being recorded. Okay, honey. Okay. Thanks. Number three. What is your favorite movie that you have worked on? Hmm. A couple different ones. I've been. Um, well, I've been fortunate to work on all the Star Wars movies, but uh, probably the most fun I had was actually on A Christmas Carol. Um, that was more recently, and the reason why I had so much fun is because there was this grueling schedule, and the, um, the owners of the company I worked for, I worked for Disney, but a subsidiary of Disney, a partner with Disney, the folks that were building the studio were doing just that. While we were making the film, we were building our studio, uh, it was our first production, um, the whole crew was new, the whole company was brand new, and I had the most fun because of the people, I think. The people were great. Just enjoyed them, uh, enjoyed working in that environment. Um, a couple of the ILM shows that I really liked were, um, of course, the Star Wars films. Uh, I liked uh, The Day After Tomorrow, thought that was interesting, difficult. Um, I liked Forrest Gump. Uh, I really got a kick out of that one. I liked all the, I liked a lot of them, frankly. Mm -hmm. um, I liked uh, Pirates of the Caribbean quite a bit. Uh, the work was just great, it looked phenomenal. Um, so a number of them. Hard to say my very favorite one though. Could have been episode one, uh, could have been A Christmas Carol. Who is your favorite character that you worked on? Who's my favorite character that I worked on? I yeah. have to say Watto, near and dear to my heart. So Watto is uh, the junkyard dog, if you were, uh, in Star Wars Episode One. So I, I look developed him. I worked with a view painter named Gene Bolte, and the two of us kind of figured out his materials, his uh, texturing, things like that. And um, then I oversaw the sequences with Watto in it after we look developed him. So he's, he's near and dear to my heart. He's a, he's a good guy. Are you done for that question? Sure. All right. Uh, how does it feel to be a com computer animator? Feels good. I like it. Um, the hours are tough. It's hard to have a family, but I enjoy the work. I love the work. Um, love uh, creating something that an audience hasn't seen before. Uh, big fan of that. Um, I, I really enjoy the work. I, I, I enjoy um, visuals. I enjoy creating visuals, whether or not they're motion pictures or even stills. I just, uh, it's a passion of mine. I could do it all day, every day if I could. So, I, I love it. How does it feel to be, oh, sorry, that's that one. How does computer animation work? How does computer animation work? 
Wow, that's a big question. I don't know if we have time to finish that question okay. in this short interview. I can, I can make it quick for you, though. Um, yeah. So a modeler will, will build a model, right, a, a virtual model. An animator, well, okay, so then a texture painter will paint on that model and will create materials for that model and uh, bump maps and specular maps and color maps, uh, tons of different maps. Uh, opacity maps and all kinds of things, uh, environment maps for its environment, things like that. Then an animator will animate it, a rigger will, will uh, create a skeleton for it, um, an animator will move it through space um, using different techniques. Um, uh, there's cloth sim artists and hair sim artists that'll uh, be responsible for those two elements, cloth and hair. Um, then we'll render it, so we'll apply virtual lights to the animation and uh, shadows and caustics and reflections and refractions and uh, then we'll bring it into a composite. So we'll put all those elements together. We'll, we many times render elements separately, so we'll render a creature separately, we'll render um, even its light separately, different passes separately. We'll reassemble all those things in what's called the compositor, and then we'll put it out to film. So that's just a very quick, abbreviated uh, process. That's how computer animation works. Okay. Hey, you guys. Huh? I'm being recorded, so can't make any noise. Sorry. How do you do computer animation? Okay, so first before I answer yeah. this question, make it a little bit short, okay? Okay, sure. So that we don't have, we don't take up too much time. Okay, so the question was, how do I do computer animation? Yeah. And first off, uh, I, I'm not an animator, so I don't do computer animation, but I, my specialty is look and lighting, okay? So I do, Ooh. I do all the lighting and materials and shadows again, and okay. uh, rendering separate elements. That's what I do. Okay, That's that, my specialty. Can I answer it again? Because guess what? I was talking over you. Okay, sure. Okay, so um, what was the question again? How do you do computer animation? Okay, how do I do computer animation is mm -hmm. the question. And back to the previous question, there's all these different um, jobs or disciplines. Uh, when, when you think computer animation, um, some people think, okay, all I do is, is animate something, and that's not the case. My specialty, my passion, uh, my niche is going to be lighting. Um, that's my passion, that's what I do best. So what I do is I'm going to render the creature separately, all its passes, and uh, render effects passes too. I'm, gonna, I'm a technical director at work, so I'm going to problem solve and debug in addition to light. Okay? I'm just give this one question because it because I already got the answer for okay. it. Does this stuff ever get tiring for you? No, it doesn't get tiring. The um, it, what's nice about it is all of the the jobs I've worked on, all of the features and um, commercials, they're all different and they're always um, they're getting incre increasingly more and more difficult and increasingly shorter and shorter time frames. So it always keeps us on our toes. Um, so it doesn't get old for me. I'm always reinventing, um, uh, you know, techniques that, or, or uh, perfecting my technique, um, things like that too. I, also, my subjects are always very different from, from job to job. So it, it always uh, stays fresh. If you were doing another job in the film industry, how would you feel? If I were doing another job in the film industry, how would I feel? Um, I guess it would depend on the job. Um, I really like what I do, um, lighting and to a lesser degree compositing. If I were an animator, I'm not sure how I would feel because I'm not uh, trained in animation. If I were a modeler, I don't know that I'd like it. Um, I've tried modeling. Um, I started as a modeler, actually. Um, I just, I, I kind of like what I do and I do best, but uh, I'm open to uh, trying other things. In fact, oftentimes I have to wear many hats on a show. Uh, freelance, for instance, I have to do everything, soup to nuts. So um, it really depends on the, the job. Uh, I think 
I like uh, choreography the best too, and by that I mean um, uh, composition, I should say, um, uh, laying out sets uh, visually, you know, things like that. Uh, I enjoy that as well. What is your favorite theme from your childhood? Uh, my favorite thing from my childhood are probably kind of everything that led up to where I am now, um, which means comic books and uh, Star Wars especially, um, science fiction films, um, trading cards, uh, not baseball so much because I was never really into sports, but um, Star Wars trading cards or, um, gosh, I have alien trading cards, things like that. So science fiction, you know, uh, reading, you know, read a lot of science fiction growing up. Those are some of the things closest to my heart. And my friends, who, uh, who I did all these things. What are your other favorite things besides computer animation? Oh, some of my other favorite things to do are uh, travel. I love my family. I love spending time with my three boys and my wife. Uh, love visiting friends and family. Uh, those are high on my list. Also traveling. Enjoy going on vacation. I also teach kids during the summer, so I love that. I'm trying to build my business. I'm just um, really enjoying that right now. Uh, so yeah, those are a couple other things. Oh, and real estate too. I really, uh, I, I'm uh, a real estate investor, so I enjoy uh, uh, investing in real estate. Do you like your job more than anything else? Hmm. Oh, tough question. Do I like my job more than anything else? I might have to say yes. Uh, that might make my family feel bad. Um, but it's a balance, you know. Um, so yeah, like uh, I mentioned earlier, if I could do anything all day, every day, it would be to light um, uh, computer-generated imagery you know, CGI, um, whether it be films, commercials, or even um, stills. I just love it. Now, I'm going to go skip this other question because sure. it's pretty sure that one would be answered. About your classes, how many people are in them? Okay, so uh, I also teach at Academy of Art University, and I have about... Um, I have uh, about 20 kids in there for my in-person classes that I teach at a time. And from my online classes, I have anywhere from, I'd say, 8 to uh, 20. So I'd say the average is probably 15 to 20 kids at any one, or students, I should say, at any one time in my Academy of Art classes. And then my kid classes, I have, um, oh, probably an average of 8 to 10 in there as well during the summer. What is it like to teach them, younger people, about computer stuff? Oh, I love it. Um, so, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but uh, one of the main influences for me growing up was to see Star Wars. just blew me away, episode four. Um, and, you know, at that point when I saw that movie, I saw it a hundred times, I think. Um, I knew right then and there that that's what I wanted to, to do when I grew up. Uh, that was my dream, that was my goal, so it gives me no greater pleasure right now to, um, to teach uh, um, those younger than me, to teach those older than me, actually, um, to teach students uh, the same techniques that I love and um, see them produce some, some incredible stuff. I get goosebumps sometimes when I see some stuff from 13-year-olds. Uh, Blow me away. So, uh, very exciting for me. I just love it. How do you feel about people not liking or criticizing computer animation even though it takes a lot of work? Um, I totally get it. The question was, how do I feel about people who critique computer graphics? Um, I totally get it. There's a time and a place for everything. Um, computer graphics isn't the answer to everything. There's always more than one way to do something. Um, you got to kind of weigh uh, the expense of doing it um, with the expense of doing it a different way. Um, and also, that, that just goes to um, the best uh, technique or the best solution to a problem. Um, then it has to be executed well as well. So I cringe too when I see a poorly executed um, composite, for instance. I just, uh, you know, oh shoot, you know, how, the, how could they let that go through or something? 
Um, but it really depends. You know, some stuff cannot be done without computer graphics, frankly, and um, other stuff can, and uh, oftentimes it's used as a crutch. It's not the end-all, be-all. It's just a technique in the toolbox. So. What would it be like if, if computer animation did not exist? Um, if computer animation did not exist, I think we'd see a lot more simple films. Um, the uh, the thing you know the, the the film that kind of started me was the abyss you know and I thought to myself how did they do that how did they do the water tentacle I was blown away when I saw that I didn't know it was computer generated at first and I, I didn't know how it was done frankly um, so without computer graphics there there'd be a lot more simple simple films there'd be no Avatar there'd be no Star Wars prequels. Uh, not not in their current state anyway. Um, just about every film nowadays is touched some way with um, uh, the computer, whether it's coloring, whether it's audio post-production. Uh, without computers, um, it, we'd be at a standstill, really. You know, it, it's really only benefited us as uh, audience members. How do you feel about Disney buying Star Wars? Oh, how do I feel about Disney buying Star Wars? A uh, little indifferent about it. Um, I have a feeling Disney will let ILM uh, stay true to the brand. I don't think they're going to ruin the brand. I don't think, uh, uh, at least the live action films anyway. So I think like um, they've done with Pixar, they let Pixar run the Pixar films. They don't get involved. Um, so I'm hoping that they do the same thing with uh, Lucasfilm uh, and ILM. Just let them, you know, they, they know best, they know what to do, so not, uh, not get involved from a creative uh, standpoint. If you like pizza, how do you feel when you eat it? Oh, I feel good when I eat pizza. I just had an amazing pizza in L.A. this weekend. Chicago-style deep dish. Uh, love pizza. Oh, we're done. All right. That wasn't so bad.